Hey guys, just doing a quick combo tutorial for agents. Um, so this is a direct follow-up to my debt profile. So I did mention that I'd be doing this. So first of all, I'm going to show off the Diviner plus the Neptune. So this first combo is if you've got the Herald plus the Neptune. So firstly, you're going to normal summon the Herald and you're going to send the Trios Hierarchia from Debt to Grave for this effect. Then you're going to use Hierarchia, tribute in Herald from Field to Special Summon itself. And then Herald will summon Bootin from the deck. And you're going to synchro these two. Hierarchy gets banished. And you're going to summon the Master Flare. Master Flare is going to send Venus to copy its effect. To summon out three copies of Mystical Shine Ball. You're going to activate Bootin from Grave. Making one of them a tuner. And you're going to link these two. Into your Halky Fibrax. And then you're going to use the effect of Halk. To summon from deck. This. Then you're going to synchro these two into your copy of Pluto then you're going to use this effect to reborn the other Venus and then effect of this because now it's not negated by Hulk you're going to special summon two shine balls from grave you're going to link these two off and they go back to deck because of because you're summoned off this into the moon then you're going to use the effect of moon to dump the majesty then you're going to use the effect of Neptune, sorry, Hyperion, to banish the Neptune to summon itself. Neptune effect, you're going to add the Sanctuary in the Sky. I always tend to just activate it straight away so don't forget. Um, so it is there, it's just sort of out of view. And um, then you're going to link probably these two to climb into the Celestial Pasha. You can use the effect. Discarding the card to search the Christia. Then you're going to use the effect of Master Flare. Summon back one of those that you put back in before. You're going to link these two into an IP Mascarena. You're going to use this effect again to summon another one out. And then you're going to link these. So treat this as a 2, this is a 1 and a 1 for an IP. Appaloosa that can be destroyed by card effect and has three materials. On the summon, you're going to use this effect to banish a fairy to summon a high level fairy. So, this is your complete combo. You've still got two cards in hand. So, you've got a banish, a quick effect book of moon, You're neither player can special summon, and you've got three negates, and that can be destroyed. You've also got um, this engraved for next turn. So, it does burn all your shine balls and cost you a load of life points. I think it's 3500 but I mean this board is very close to I won't say unbreakable because it does lose to a board wipe but I mean it's still a very very strong board so that's it for the first main combo so for this combo it's your other sort of standard so if you open um, earth plus this or neptune or basically the searcher as well which can just replace the earth or the neptune so you're going to normal summon earth Add in Neptune. Neptune effect is going to special summon Venus. Venus effect is going to summon three shine balls from deck. So then you're going to link these two into your moon. Moon is going to send Majesty. Um, Majesty is going to banish Neptune to summon itself. Effect of Neptune is going to add Sanctuary in the Sky. Um, just activate it now so you don't forget about it. Um, it's probably a better time to activate it, but now's the time. I'm going to link these two for the Celestial Parshaft link. I'm going to synchro these for 10. I'm going to use this effect to send the new Venus to summon back these from Graveyard. All banished. And then you're going to use the, these two as material to summon out a IP and the shine balls go back to deck. You're going to link this off into a link spider. And then you're going to use this Venus effect to special summon out this. Um, at this point you want to use the Parshaft link to discard to search. So you're going to add the Christia. Make sure you remember before you do your last link summon. Um, gonna link for four 
making an Appaloosa, and then this effect to summon the Christia by banishing a fairy. So you've got three negates here, you've got a banish, you've got a Christia, and you've still got two cards in hand, which could be, you know, like a call by the grave, or if it's an extender, great. If it's not, it's probably a hand trap. So this is the sort of easiest main board to make, I reckon. So for this hand, um, we're just doing like an even bigger combo, similar to the last one, but I think you can make a Savage as well. So you do need the additional Searcher, so you've got a Searcher here and a Searcher here. So this will help you get to the Neptune and also the Uranus, which would then, you know, be your extra tuner. So you're going to Normal Summon, you're going to add your Neptune. Um, Neptune effects, just as before, summon the Venus. Venus effect, summon three Shine Balls. If they Ash this, it's probably the best day of your life. Link these two, just summon out Moon, Moon, send Majesty. Link these two for the Parshaf link. And then you're going to banish the Neptune to summon the Majesty. So let's just tidy up all And then you're going to add the Sanctuary in the Sky. And you're going to synchro these, just like before, into the Master Flare. Master Flare is going to copy the Venus, other Venus. Using the effect, you're going to reborn all three. You're going to link these two, and these go back into the deck. For the Mascarena, link this back into the deck. For the Link Spider. Gonna activate this while you remember. Discard to search for the Christia while you remember. You could do this later on, but I just don't want to forget. Um, then you're going to use this effect again. Summon this out. Make the Appaloosa. So far, this is exactly the same combo as before. But now you're going to activate this. Search out your Uranus, and because you've got Sanctuary on the field, you can actually summon it. So you're gonna reveal this, send a Venus to summon this card from your hand. It becomes level three. You're gonna use the effect of Venus to summon another Shine Ball. Synchro these for eight, making a Savage Dragon, and then this is gonna activate as well. So then Savage Dragon will attach this and then this will banish a fairy to summon out the Christia so it does use an extra card in hand but you do also get an Omni Negate so this can't be destroyed by card effects obviously this is Christia and then Negate Banish so really really cool combo it's a lot stronger than the other one so that's my main one now I'm gonna get into like some weird sort of fixing hands combos like you know if you open Venus Neptune or just Venus or just um, the Herald so I think that'll be really good so then for this combo you know with one of your suboptimal hands you just literally got the one thing in all hand traps or whatever so normal summon and you're gonna use the effect to send the Trias Hierarchia use the effect of that engrave tributing the Herald Herald effect will summon booting from deck synchro these two the hierarchy gets banished by its own effect and you're going to summon the Master Flare Hyperion. Hyperion effect is going to send Venus, so it can copy its effect. Then you're going to summon out three copies of Shine Ball. Then you're going to link. Sorry, you're going to banish the Bootin, so I get a Shine Ball. Then you're going to link two of them into a Hulk. Hulk effect. You're going to summon a Tuna. Probably going to grab an Earth. Why not? Then you're going to link these two into your copy of moon moon effect is going to send your majesty and then you're going to use majesty effect banishing the earth to summon out a copy of this and you're going to link these two into the parshath link you're going to activate its effect because you don't control sanction in the sky you can't search Christia, but you won't be making that anyway at this point, I don't think. So, you just add the Fallen Sanctuary. And this is where we're actually going to leave it, really. So, you're going to set this 
Um, you've got hopefully three hand traps, or at least a call by the grave or something. And then you can activate this in your opponent's turn. I'm going to search out sacred waters for the next turn. Or you can add whatever you think you need. And then they get first action in the main phase after that. You're going to be able to activate this. And then summon out Pluto. Obviously play around Mech Knights better than I have. Um, so now this will have a quick effect because this is treated as Sanctuary in the Sky. So for this other combo, we've got um, three copies of just random dead card. And you've got a Venus and a Neptune. So a little bit counterintuitive in this play, but um, you get used to it pretty fast. So Venus into three Shine Ball. Pretty standard so far. Um, you're going to link these two and you're going to make Moon. Instead of sending the Majesty like you usually do, you're actually going to send the Dark Venus. And then you're going to link Climb for Celestial Pasha. Neptune is going to reborn the other Venus. This Venus effect is going to summon back three Mystical Shine Balls. And then these all go back into deck when linked with. So you're going to make an IP. You're going to make a Link Spider. And then you're going to use this Venus again to summon back out another Shine Ball. So you're going to link these into your copy of Appalooza. Can't be destroyed and has three materials. Then you're going to use the Venus again to summon out another one. You're going to synchro these for eight. To make a borrow load savage dragon savage effect is going to attach the ip in case they do want to draw you know three cards off a mech knight or you could put it like that if you really wanted and then you're going to use the effect of pasha discarding to search for the trap so make sure you play your columns correctly this is just a demonstration of you know the actual cards and what you can get from them so if you open Venus, Neptune, you can get a Parsha, a three material, a Palooza that can be destroyed, a Savage Dragon, and then you've got this, which is a Negate and also a Search. So really strong opening, and you've obviously got two cards in hand, hopefully hand traps. So that's a really strong opening. And I think I'll just show you one more combo that is a bit similar. So for this last combo, I'm gonna show you what you can do if you open one of each Venus and three dead cards again. So, you're going to normal summon the Venus, and then you're going to special summon the Shine Balls from deck. There we are. Going to link these two into the Moon, wherever it is. Moon effect is going to send the Majesty Hyperion from deck. There we are. And then you're going to link climb again into the Celestial Night Lord Pasha. You're going to use the Majesty and Grave, banishing the moon, to summon itself. I'm going to link these two into a IP Mascarena. You're going to banish the Venus to summon the Venus. You're going to use the effect of the new Venus to summon out three copies of Shine Bar. You're going to link this into a Link Spider, sending it back to deck. And then you're going to link these into a three material Appaloosa that can't be destroyed. And then you're going to synchro these into a Pluto. And then you're going to use the Parshaf effect, discarding one, to search the trap the Fallen Sanctuary. So then you've got your trap for your next turn. You're going to search out probably a Sacred Waters, search her for anything. You've got a Book of Moon, three Negates, and you've got two potential hand traps in hand. So that's it for this combo. Um, I think I'm done doing... Yeah, that's that's going to be the last combo I show for today. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share this in any Facebook groups you can, because this took me so long to make. I filmed it all and realised I didn't have my torch on my phone, so I had to start all over because it was really dark. But please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.